Last year, Sam Childers received the Mother Teresa Humanitarian Award for freeing African kids from the clutches of the infamous Lord's Resistance Army. Last week, he was on the receiving end of the long arm of the law. While Childers was busy helping children on another continent, FBI agents were raiding his home and ministry headquarters in Somerset County, Pennsylvania. I was told they come in, guns drawn, uh, told everyone to put their hands in the air, uh, patted everyone down, they made them all leave the building, uh, put my daughter into an enclosed room, and they started their search. We suspect that they were searching, uh, you know, for things leading, showing that I'm smuggling arms to, to Africa and selling them, which is totally crazy. Childers says the shipping container was full of clothing for the orphans, and most of them were ruined. He believes the federal action came at the urging of his former son-in-law, who was accused of stealing thousands of dollars from the ministry. Childers thinks it may be part of a plea agreement in the case. The FBI wouldn't comment. Childers believes the FBI agents overreacted. Instead of going crazy and spending thousands and thousands of tax dollars, why didn't they just go and talk to the people that packed the containers? They're members of his church, Childers says. Many over 50 years of age who have been doing this for the past two years. I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. The Pennsylvania pastor's life story was told in the movie Machine Gun Preacher, starring actor Gerard Butler. It detailed his leaving a life of crime and drugs, following Christ, and starting rescue and orphanage ministry in South Sudan. He's currently there, helping children trapped in South Sudan's civil war. He's taken in at least 18 orphans, including an 11-year-old boy he found roaming the streets of Kampala, Uganda. His parents were killed right before his eyes, was sleeping on the streets of Kampala for two weeks, just eating garbage. We have rescued him. He's at one of my homes in Kampala. Childers says he expects to hear more from the FBI once he returns home, but knows his battle really isn't with them. It definitely is a spiritual attack. It doesn't matter what they do to me. God is in control, and he still has victory. Gary Lane, CBN News.